Patriot Games 2016 workout number four is Double Diane. This is 21 9-15-21 9-15-21 of deadlifts and handstand push-ups. Here's the catch. For the 21-15-9, one partner will be doing all of the deadlifts, the other partner will be doing all of the handstand push-ups. For the second half, the 9-15-21, they switch places. This means that both partners will be doing a full Diane, which is a full 45 reps of deadlift and a full 45 reps of handstand push-ups. We're giving you nine minutes to get this workout done. Again, if you finish in the nine minutes, use the remaining time to rest. On the deadlifts, Bar starts on the ground and each rep must make contact with the ground. Athlete stands the bar up with his shoulders coming behind the bar. Our judges will not be looking for shoulders to hyperextend all the way back. That is not what we're looking for. Shoulders just must get behind the bar. The bar at this point is being held at the athlete's hips. Bar makes contact with the ground and he stands up another rep. If your judge feels that you are excessively bouncing the bar, he or she will call that as a no rep. But each rep just looks just like what Nick is doing right here. Once the 21 reps are done, his partner would move on and do the handstand push-ups. Every athlete for the handstand push-ups will have an ab mat. He is doing these strict. We are not going to be using any kind of tape line for his heels to go over, but we will be looking for full extension. At the top of each rep, his heels are in contact with the wall and his arms are fully locked out. The judge will be looking for excessively wide hand placement. There will be no lines on the side, but if we see excessively wide hands, those will be considered a no rep. Again, hands will be approximately where you see Nick's. He reaches full extension at the top with his heels on the wall. If, while reaching for extension, his heels come off the wall and he comes back down, that would be considered a no rep. The rep begins with the athlete's head on the mat. So if you kick up, if you kick up into this position and then do a rep, that is okay. If you kick up directly into the top of a handstand, you must then come down, then go back up for your first rep. 